we want and let's talk about the predictions or predictive text on your iPhone's keyboard and what to do if it doesn't work. And the most obvious thing on why it couldn't work is because it's not even turned on. So if you can see that no predictions appear when you like search for stuff or type text in, then you need to go to your settings and then navigate to the uh, general section. So here in the general, you need to scroll down and here is the keyboard. So tap on the keyboard and we have a couple of different things. So it may actually be a, be a bit confusing. So auto capitalization or auto corrections, you can have the, all of these turn off or on or whatever, but you can see here is if you scroll down, you can see for English, it is predictive and the predictive is turned on for me. If you turn it off, then it's not gonna work anymore. And for you, in your case, you'll probably have this disabled. So, but this only applies to English. That means that if you go in here and you have like a different keyboard in a different language, it's not going to work because it is language based. Also, you need to make sure that it is turned on like this. And here at the top of the page in the keyboard section, here you can mess with the languages. So it's possible to add a new keyboard. And let's say that you're gonna add some other like popular language. And let's say it's gonna be a Spanish. Now coming back, you can see that uh, English and Spanish is predictive. So it doesn't separate it. You cannot turn it off individually for different language. You can only see which are available. And for those that the feature is available, you can either turn it off or on. So right now, if you have like three keyboards or three languages, the emoji and the three languages, the predictions are only gonna work for English and Spanish. This is just how it works. So if you start texting and you are in a, the English keyboard, you can see that it just tries to like guess the predictions and the words that you may wanna type. If you click on a Spanish, you can see that you can see again, same predictions, but if you click on different language, or you can see here is the other language, the Slovak language, here it doesn't show anything, but this is only uh, applying to the iPhone iOS keyboard. Besides that, you have multiple other options. If you go to the App Store, you can download some third-party keyboards. So you can download the Gboard. For example, it's from Google and it's a keyboard which has like completely different options, like different things. So perhaps you're not even happy about that. You just want to switch worlds altogether or Gremlin keyboard. You can actually get it and that's going to like correct your text a lot and it has a lot of data. So I think that the, the options are there. So that would be pretty much it. In this quick video, I just wanted to clarify that for more videos about the keyboard, check this one right here and also subscribe to Fox Tech. Thanks a lot and see you guys in the future.